Hi, Ma'am! I'm Edwardine Alexa Z. Morales, Section Dinagyang. This is my performance task for How we protect rainforest, coral reefs, and mangrove swamp. So first, how we protect rainforest. To save endangered species, we must protect the world's tropical forest. Doing so will also help stabilize our climate. We're doing our part by urging companies to commit to stop cutting down this great forest, a commitment known as zero defestration. Many of the companies that harvest and use palm oil have already agreed to make this commitment. Now, we're focusing on the beef and soybean supply chain. Forests can be managed effectively without endangering rare species of plants and animals and without risking global environmental damage. Companies that harvest timber should not be allowed to clear cut. Large areas of forests and should be required, required to plant new trees after they cut all trees down. Government should create large parks and reserves where hunting and logging are not allowed. As a world community, we must be careful not to destroy the resources that people will need in future. Many animals from the rainforest are brought to our country illegally. Parrots, parrots and iguanas, for example, are often imported illegally. We should not buy these animals, since that encourage other people to bring in more animals. Effective advocacy and action. We must act now. Protecting the world's forests is one of the simplest and most effective ways of saving endangered animals and slowing down global warming. We see the world's tropical forests as vital resources to be protected, not exploited, not exploited as species disappear and the planet overheats. If you agree, please join us. Now, how to protect mangrove swamp? So first, what is mangrove swamp? Mangroves are salt-tolerant trees that have adapted to living in salt and brackish water conditions. They vary in size from shrubs to tall trees and are found along sheltered tropical mud flats or wetlands, or in association with estuaries and lagoons and may extend inland along rivers, streams, and their tributaries. They require slow currents and plenty of fine sediment in which to set their roots. Mangroves are essential to fish production. They are extraordinary rich habitats that serve as life support systems to about 75% of fish species caught in area as well as to interdominate in determinate numbers as crustaceans, and wildlife. Mangrove loss directly translates to losses in fish catch and food supply. Why we need to protect mangroves? Fish and other marine life depend on habitats such as man mangroves to enable them to feed, take shelter in, spawn, and reproduce. A good number of marine fish and invertebrates live in mangrove areas at some stage of their life cycles and consider mangrove as their homes. So, how we, need, how we protect the coral reefs? Many commercial marine species such as bangus or milkfish and prawns spend their early life within the mangrove area where they find food and protect from predators. Juveniles of some deep-sea fishes also spend some time in mangroves before moving on to other ecosystems such as seagrasses or coral reefs. Home to exceptional biodiversity. In this labor hints of living limestone, scientists estimate that more than a million animal and plant species are associated with them and that they are home to more than 25% of all marine life. They are also the basis for the formation of other ecosystems. In fact, the grazing of coral formation by hards 
of pirate fish leads to the formation of very large expanses of sand. This, through the action of currents, leads to the formation of shallows, island and above all. In very probable areas, the deformation of mangroves and other coastal forests. Coastal protection. Reefs occupy only a tiny part of the seabed, less than 0.2%. Yet, they are found along more than 150,000 kilometers of coastline in more than 100 country, countries and territories. Due to their massive formation between the surface and the first few dozen meters of depth, coral reefs form a barrier that absorbs the elements coming from the open sea in a very efficient way. They absorb wave energy and contribute to the reduction of coastal erosion. They reduce damage in the event of storms, hurricanes, and other cyclones as well as, to some extent, the energy of tsunamis. In doing so, they protect both the ecosystems between the reefs and the coast, such as lagoons with sea grass beds, as well as human settlements along the coast. Their action is so effective that man imitates it by immersing concrete structures along some of our fragile coasts. Without this protective role, some countries located in atolls would no longer exist. A food resource. More than 275 million people live within 10 kilometers of a coastline and less than 30 kilometers from east. Reef. One-eighth of the world's population, about 850 million people, live within 100 kilometers of reefs and are likely to benefit from the ecosystem services provided by reefs. Millions of people around the world depend on reefs' food, protection, and employment. These figures are all the more impressive because reefs cover around 1% of Earth's surface. A tourist attraction. Reefs are often the backbone of tropical regions, economies, where they are generally located. They attract diverse, pre diverse, recreational fishermen and lovers of white sandy beaches. More than 100 countries benefit from reef related tourism and it contributes to more than 30% of export earnings in more than 20 countries. Local economies benefit from billions of dollars. From visitor.com to admire the reefs to companies exploiting reef ecosystem, ecosystems. In many small lands, more than 90% of new economic development depends on this coastal tourism. Reef tourism, if managed in our sustainable manner, i.e. respectful or reefs by limiting, limiting the destruction and the pollution induced by, induced by this same by this same tourism, especially when it comes to mass tourism can provide alternative or complementary income resources for coastal communities in develop, developing countries. There are many ways you can help protect these ecosystems. Look for sustainable alternatives to eating farm shrimp from mangrove areas. Find local conservation and government organizations in your area that are working to conserve mangrove forests and support them. Coastal protection. The dense root systems of mangrove forests trap sediments flowing down rivers and off the land. This helps stabilize the coastline and pre prevents erosion from waves and storms. By filtering out sediments, the forests also protect coral reefs 
and seagrass meadows from being smothered in sediment. Please protect our ecosystem.